All right. How are you guys doing tonight? Uh, all right, so got Glass Road set up here. Um, finish this last little bit of setup, and uh, we'll get into it. So, <clears throat> this is a uh, glass road. The solo game is going to take place over uh, seven rounds. We'll talk about how it's structured here in just a second. Once we finish dealing out our uh, buildings, see what we're dealing with. All right, so you ever uh, y'all ever played Glass Road before? It's pretty neat. It's a Uwe Rosenberg game. Uh, I believe Capstone Games is reprinting it <clears throat> uh, in the near future. It's been out of print for a minute, uh, but Z-Man Games did the the original version. Um, let me know the volume sounds all right. If we uh, video looks good, all that. Um, but I'm going on the assumption that it does, <laughs> but, uh, you know, if I need to turn my volume, up, volume up or anything, just let me know. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. Right. So glass road is going to take place over seven rounds. Each round, we're going to choose some number of these cards. And then in the solo game, we're going to shuffle them up and reveal them in a random order. And uh, in the first round, we're going to just take three three cards worth of actions and then four, five, six, three, four, five. And uh, just to give you an idea, a uh, thir I, I believe the rule book says 30 is an extremely good score in solo. Um, so my... My bet is we do not score 30, <laughs> but we're going to try. And it's a uh, it's a quick game, so we'll probably play a couple rounds, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so, <clears throat> we've got these 12 buildings available to us. The top row, the blue ones, are um, production buildings, I think they're called. And they let you change resources into other resources. You can do that freely as many times as you want, whenever you want, basically. Um <clears throat> the middle row, I believe, are called immediate buildings, um, and they have a one-time bonus when you place them. <coughs> Excuse me. So, for example, this sand island, you place it on your board, you immediately get two sand per adjacent uh, lake. Um, also, each of these is worth uh, victory points based on the number in the top right. Um, at the end of the game. Uh, and then the bottom row, I forget what they're called, but they're basically end game scoring cards. So this is like, uh, one point per used brick. I don't think I've seen that one before. I'm not sure what used means in that context. So I'm actually going to check the rules on that one. If you bear with me for one second. One point. Uh, okay. So that is you count up bricks in the building cost of every building that you've built at the end of the game and um you get one point per the rule book says 58 bricks are used to build the 93 buildings so presumably you could not build anywhere close to that many but that's how that scores this is one point per forest tile left on your board one point per um clay resource that you have at the end of the game and one point per immediate building so these one-time use buildings. Um, so the other thing to know is that there's these resource wheels. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, sorry, six different resources. Um, there's sand, food, coal, I think, water, wood, and clay. 
and coal and uh, food each are doubled. And then there's also glass and bricks. Use bricks to build buildings, use glass to do all kinds of stuff, basically. Um, and the way these resource wheels work is neat. So like the food is right here on this wheel, right? There's a one there, so that means I've got one food. I start with four wood, right? And as soon as you have at least one of everything and this zero spot is empty, this wheel moves forward one and you use one of everything and create one glass. So managing that is kind of the heart of the puzzle of the game because like you might need four wood specifically, but then if you get a sand, it eats one of your wood and uh, to make a glass, right? It's, it's uh, compulsory. You can't choose to not do that. Um, so also when you gain coal or food, you can put it on either uh, marker, but I think you have to choose one or the other. Let me actually double check that. It's been a minute since I've actually played this. <clears throat> blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Where's the bit? Charcoal is what the black one is. Uh, we'll play for the details. There, five basic goods. I know it says this here somewhere. But I'm not sure where, and I don't really feel like looking for it. So we're going to play that way, because I'm 99% sure that's the rule. Like, if I gain food, I have to either gain it all here or all here. You can't split it up. If that is incorrect, say love you. We're just going to make it harder for ourselves. <laughs> but I do think that's the rule, right? Um, <clears throat> these buildings refill whenever we build one, but they don't get discarded, like, uh, you know, at the end of the round or anything. So let's talk about how the cards work. Um... A lot of the cards have a cost on the left here, and then two actions. All right, they all have two actions, right? But some of them don't have a cost. Uh, and when you play a card, you pay the f you pay the uh, cost, and then in the solo game, the way that it works is we're going to reveal these one at a time, and we get to do either the top or the bottom action. One or the other, right? Until there are only two cards left, and then we get to look at those two, choose one of them, and do both actions on it. Um, and the other one just gets discarded, right? So we don't get to choose the order that we do things in the solo game, which makes it pretty tricky. Um, also, <clears throat> which like the three cards that I use in the first round, they're going to get held, and then I can't choose them in the second round. And then after the second round, I'll take these back. These four would go up here to be held for the next round, etc. Right? Um, and <clears throat> that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll go over the cards as we um, get into the game. Basically, they let you get resources in various ways. They let you build these buildings. The buildings are going to generate resources. You want to change the resources into points. I'm sure you never have heard that before. Um, so let's look at the production buildings that we've got, because that's kind of what you want to base what you got going on around. Um, so this one lets you turn water and charcoal into food. This one lets you turn food into sand. This one lets you turn wood into food. So... <laughs> Hmm. I feel like turning wood into food and then turning food into sand. Because that turns every one one wood into four sand, which seems like a lot of sand. Um, so at the end of the game, baseline, the only things we score points for are our buildings, 
one point for every glass we have, half a point for every sand we have, and one point for every brick we have. Um, <clears throat> there could theoretically be more endgame scoring things that do come out, but uh, currently the ones that are available to us are one point per used brick. One, I already said these. Uh, so what do we want to do first is the question. So I think we want to get this, which costs um, a wood and a glass, right? I don't know if you can see really well, but in the left-hand side here, it's got the cost to build a thing. So we need a wood and a glass, and then we need three wood, one clay, and one brick. So if we get some charcoal and some sand... We can make glass and uh, brick, and then build these two things and just kind of go from there, I guess. So let's see what cards we got. Is this all uh, making sense to you guys? Um, you know, enough sense, I guess. <laughs> Have uh, any of y'all played Glass Road before? Uh, the solo game... Uh, you know, since you are drawing cards randomly, um, in the two player game, like I would play a card. So we would each choose some number of cards, right. And then go back and forth playing a card. And then if the other person had that card in their hand, they're forced to play it. And then you each only get to do one of the actions. Uh, and then in the three plus player game, it's like simultaneous selection. So everyone puts out a card. And then, like, I would flip this up, and if someone else had put it out there, they would also flip it up, and then we would only get to do uh, either the top or the bottom. So you're trying to make things that you want happen while also avoiding, uh, you know, doubling up with other people as far as the actions you're taking. So, if we're going to build this carving workshop first, um, this one turns these... Uh, forests into clay. Uh, <clears throat> and they're like this guy, for example. Well, let's look at the cards, right? This guy burns down a forest, gets you either two charcoal or two food, or both. This guy lets you build a uh, new pit and get a clay, or get sand or clay, depending on the number of pits you have. This guy. Spends wood, turns it into charcoal. Spends forest, turns it into wood. This guy gets you more forests or uh, gets you food or wood based on the forest. This guy gets you water. This guy gets you one of any of the uh, either water, pits, or forests. Or he lets you build a building. Uh, this guy turns charcoal into food. Or uh, you get food based on how many uh, lakes you have. This guy turns forests into wood or you get to build a building. This guy gets you um, gets you another lake or gets you sand or water based on how many lakes you have. This guy lets you build buildings. The supplier says, take two of the same good of your choice and each other player receives one of that good. In the solo game... Um, you only get one thing, uh, since there's no one else to gain a be gain a benefit from it. You just get less, uh, or he lets you build a building. This guy lets you spend a water, um, and get one charcoal per card in your hand. I'm going to have to check how that works in the solo game. This says add one building from each stack to your private offer. So that lets you draw one off the top of each of these. In the multiplayer game, only you would be able to build those. In the solo game, I mean, only you can build any of them. But it does let you look at more of them. And this guy turns water into clay. So, a lot of turning resources into other resources, etc. Um, so, let me see. Where is... I'm looking for fuel collector. Uh, 
do 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 Right, okay, so it's going to be based on the number of cards left in your stack when that guy comes out. That's how much charcoal you get, so. <clears throat> yep. All right, so let's figure out what we're doing. I think, first off, I want to play the Feudal Lord just to... um you know, look at more buildings, basically. Because this is going to give us a way to get a ton of sand, right? Which is great. Um, it would be good to be able to turn that sand into something uh, good, also. Um, and I need to get sand and charcoal. Um, but I need to get sand first. So... I'm going to put the supplier out here because if he comes out, I can either get a sand or build a building if he comes out, you know, after I've gotten the sand. Uh, who's the third person we're going to choose? Uh... We'll take Slash and Burn Farmer for the last one, which lets us uh, kill one of these and get some resources for it. All right, so we have selected our cards. We're going to shuffle them up. And yeah, one of the things I like the most about this game is it uh, it's got a lot of really nice... Uh, Philbo, how you doing tonight? Welcome in. Um, so basically we're getting resources and trying to turn them into points. Uh, 30 is an extremely good score just to give you an idea of uh, what we're shooting for here. Um, probably less than 30. Uh, quick recap, like very quick. Uh, each building has a cost on the left. These give you... Uh, Ongoing, like you can, now I can turn food into sand or whatever. These are all one-time use. When you build them, you get to do the thing. The bottom row is all in-game scoring stuff. The way the wheels work is uh, the number on the wheel is how many of the associated resource you have. And like if this moves up one, then that's empty. So I spend one of everything to make uh, the thing, the glass or bricks. So kind of balancing that puzzle is the... Uh, the trick, um, and takes place over seven rounds. Each round, we get to do three, four, five, six, three, four, five. Um, that's how many cards we get to play. Then we shuffle up the cards and deal them out in a random order. So the first one is the supplier. Uh, <clears throat> I only get to do the top or the bottom, right? Um, so for this one, I don't have the glass to build the building that I want to build because these came out in an unfortunate order. So I'm going to get sand, which is going to make one glass and eat one of all these resources, right? Now, there are only two cards left, so I get to look at these two cards, choose one of them, and do the top and the bottom action. So I'm going to choose Feudal Lord, which gets me one wood, one clay, and I get to draw one of each of these and put it into my <clears throat> private offer. So these are buildings that only I can build. I mean, solo, only I can build any of them, right? But it just lets me look at more, uh, look at more buildings, basically. Now, round one is over. These three cards are not available in round two. They'll cycle back after round two, and whatever cards I use in round two will go up there. So that's the end of round one. Um, let's look at the buildings we got. Sand pit lets us turn water into sand. Um, lots of ways to get sand in this particular game. Uh, wood trader, when I build it, I can spend one wood to get two of any of the other basic resources as many times as I want. And glassworks 
updates the forest glass works upgrades and uh so this one gets me one point per glass at the end that gets me three point per three points per glass at the end which like that one's pretty good um you know if i'm gonna have glass left over uh all right so we got the glass we've got wood we can build this uh carving workshop that i was planning on building um so We'll put, uh, we'll maybe put Builder in there, we'll look. Um, we might actually put Carpenter in there instead, um, because we're going to need to like make space uh, to build stuff on our board, right? So, he's a maybe. We need charcoal to get bricks. Um, if we got one charcoal, we could build both of these buildings, which would be great. Um, especially if we could do it for one action. Um, maybe we'll put him in there, question mark. And we're definitely going to need charcoal, so... Um, where's the guy that gives me charcoal? Uh, hmm. I think we're going to have to use Fuel Collector instead of charcoal burner because charcoal burner would cost us a wood and then we wouldn't be able to build both of those buildings um you know assuming things come out in just the right order which <laughs> they probably won't um and philbo uh, any further questions you have feel free to ask um But we're just going to keep rolling for the time being. All right, let's see what we get. Action one is the cultivator. Those are still on screen, right? Yep. Okay. Um, so we can either get another sand pit, uh, forest, or a lake, or we can build a building, right? I think we want to go ahead and build a building. <clears throat> just because. Just because, I guess. So we're going to cost. Uh, that costs us one wood and one glass. We have successfully scored one point. Now we can turn wood into food at will. Uh, one wood into two food. Second action is the Builder, which is very unfortunately timed because we haven't gotten charcoal yet. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, good players draw random things in the correct order. Oh uh, yeah, we, we refill this also. That lets us turn uh, charcoal into water. Hmm. Uh, so this guy, unfortunately, like I can't build either of the build, or I can't build the building that I wanted to build yet, right? So let's see if we can build anything else just, you know, while he's here. Uh. What do we got out here that doesn't cost bricks, basically? Like, I could build this shed, um, which just gives me a glass for a wood, which, like, is pretty pretty all right. Especially, like, if we're going to build half-timbered house, that gives us one point per immediate building, so we, wouldn't, we would want to try to build these things. Um, Uh, but I think we might just take a bath on that action, unfortunately. Because they came out... Oh yeah, and then now we get to look at both of these and choose to do both actions on one of them. Um, so, we'll use the fuel collector, which costs us one wood and gets us... Uh, hmm, 
No, hold on. Uh, these came out really extremely poorly. So it causes one water, gets us two wood, and I think might actually get us zero charcoal. Um, I'm not sure if we discard the other card first or not. Let me check the timing on that. These cards, pick one, play this card, ignore the other card. Fuel Collector. Equal the number of specials cards left in your hand. Move the wood or five in the soul game. So I think it gets me one charcoal because that other card is still in my hand, is what we're going to say. So it gets me one charcoal. We spend the charcoal to get our brick. And. We get these three cards back. These four cards come up here. We're on to round three. Now it's all it's all done at the end. Um, so like buildings that you build have uh, points in the top right. Whoop. You score points for those, and these three end game scoring is one one point per glass. Uh, half a point per sand and one point per brick. And then if you build more of this bottom row, that gives you more end game scoring. Uh, okay, so we would like to build this now, right? So we're going to put the supplier back in there because I think he's our last card that builds buildings currently. Yep. <clears throat> which is going to let us turn wood into food and then food into sand. What we're going to do with the sand, I mean, who knows, right? But um, And based on this card specifically saying get seven food on one production wheel, I think you can actually split it up, which is not what I had said earlier, but that's what we're going to do. Um... All right, so we're choosing five cards this time. I guess we'll throw a charcoal burner in there because charcoal seems good. We can get a brick that way. Um, we need to get rid of some of these. Uh, we need to get rid of a forest, probably. Um, sand. Oof, yeah, okay. Where's the guy that gives us water? Yeah, choose him. And... Uh, who else are we choosing? Maybe we'll throw Feudal Lord in there again and just draw some more buildings. I don't know. 30 points here I do not come. <laughs> All right, so shuffle these up. And see what we get. Feudal Lord coming out first. So, um, I could either get a wood and a clay, or um, draw three more buildings, which is what we're going to do. Uh, all right. Floodgate. One point per contiguous lake. All right. Roofing company, turn one brick into two other things. Mm, I don't know about that one. And water tank, get seven water when you build it. Hmm. All right, well, those are cards that are buildings that exist. Water carrier comes out. So we spend a food and get two water and one wood. Easy enough. Slash and burn farmer comes out. So we're going to burn down a forest. Get out of here, forest. We're going to get two charcoal. 
And then there's two cards left. So we can either get one of anything and build a building or uh, spend one wood and get six charcoal, which is like, that's so much charcoal though. I think like I would love to play supplier, but I think we're just going to get a ton of charcoal instead. One, two, three, one, two, three. We'll do it like that. What could possibly go wrong? Onward to round four. And we are uh, almost halfway through the game. I'm sure we've definitely accomplished half of what we we're hoping to accomplish in this game. <laughs> uh, okay, so... We have yet to find anything that lets us turn sand immediately into something good, which like, that's a shame. But what we can do right now, what out here costs glass? That's the question. Glass works. Well, okay. So first off, we need to build this sand factory before we even worry about that. So let's do that. Let's do that. All right, so we're definitely going to get the uh, uh, how, who gets you clay? Pit worker gets you clay. Okay, so we're going to put the cultivator out and maybe try to get another pit because there's an end game scoring card out here that gives us one point per clay. So maybe we'll try to build that. We'll see. Uh, the rulebook says 30 is an extremely good solo score. Um, I have not scored 30 points in this, uh, solo. I've only played it a couple times solo, but, um, it's, it's not a very high scoring game. Uh, I can tell you exactly. Hold on. Tell you what I got the last time I scored, just so we can see how we measure up this time. Give me one second. Fire up the old BGG stats here. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Please. So I score my best solo score is 24. So um, my guess based on how this is going so far is not 24, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll all find out together. Um, all right. So we're choosing six cards this time, which is a ton of cards. Get the clay worker in there. Uh, we'll get the pit worker in there. Um, we'll get the, uh, get the carpenter, I guess. And, um, so we get, we get to choose two more cards here. Uh, Two more cards. What are the cards we want? Uh, get the woodcutter out. And one more, one more, one more. Heck, I don't know. We'll get the fish farmer out. Why not? What could possibly go wrong? We're just choosing cards. Choosing cards that seem good. I mean, I like things that are good, don't you? 
So this is the one where we get the most cards in the entire game. So it's all downhill from here. First up, we've got the woodcutter, which kills a forest, gets us two wood, capping out our wood. Next up, we've got the carpenter, which kills a forest and lets us build a building. We're going to build the sand factory, which costs us three wood, one, two, three, one clay, and one brick. So now we can turn one wood into two food and one food into two sand. So for example, we could right now turn our four food, our four wood into eight food into capping out sand very easily. So <laughs> nice. It's a pretty solid card play. Uh, all right, so we get another card out here. Oh, now we're talking. All right, so this lets us turn three sand into one brick. So now we've got a very easy engine to get a ton of bricks. And we've got a card here that wants us to build things that cost bricks. So I like the way this is shaping up here. We'll see how it goes. Um, so this lets us either get another... Um, I'm not trying to say get another uh, landscape tile of some kind or build a building. And I think we might be building a building here. Um, Cause like this, well, we can't build that right now cause we need clay to do it. But uh, all right. So first off we're going to spend a wood and get two, food, then spend one food to get two sand, which immediately gets us <clears throat> a um, glass, and we're going to run out of wood <laughs> doing this, but you know, that's fine. Um, now, what can we build is the question. We need bricks to build that. We need clay to build that. So we can't build either of the buildings that we really want right now. Um, I mean, we could build the shed always. Um, hmm. What else we got? What else we got? Well, the short answer is not a lot, actually. So maybe we just get another uh, another pit so that when the guy that gives us clay for pits comes out, we can, uh, we can get some clay going. So Fish Farmer comes out, which pays one charcoal for two food. Uh, and we'll go to there. Now we get to choose between these two. We can either get four clay for the low, low cost of one water or uh, three clay for, oh, or, sorry, three clay without having to pay water. Um, I think we're going to pay, hmm, we don't have an easy way to get water currently. Um, so I think we're going to take three clay. One, two, three. Call that one a day. So we get these cards back and we're on to round five. We got three rounds left. And if you give me just a second, run to the restroom, I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. Uh, let me see, let me see. Okay, so. Also, when I got this food, whoop, we got two breaks out of it. Because again, again, that's mandatory. You can't choose to not do that. Which does now give us enough resources to build this sandstone factory. So probably... So we only get three cards this round. Which is unfortunate, but you know. It is what it is. Like we need wood. And lots of it. Uh yeah, our wood our wood cutter is obviously in the discard pile. Why wouldn't he be? Um so So what are we doing? Uh, so we definitely want to build a building, right? He's our guy that lets us do that currently. Um, this lets us get two wood, so we'll probably do that. Um, So if we build Oktoberfest, that's an instant building. If we build it right there, for example, that lets us trash this for four sand and trash this for four wood. Which, like... Oh, oops. Those aren't come off. Which, like, that's pretty good. Um, you know, maybe. Uh, what's, the, what's the final thing we want to have available to us here? Get some water. Yeah, we'll throw a water carrier in there too. Okay, so shuffle these up, see what comes out for us. First up, we've got the supplier, which uh, lets us build a building. We're going to build the sandstone factory. Costs us two brick and two wood, leaving us very short on wood currently. And then we get to choose between these two, and we get to do both the things, which is actually pretty good because this guy lets us um, build another uh, forest. there and get a wood which we're just lamenting our lack of and then get a wood per forest that we've got so three more wood so that worked out pretty well and let's see if we want to do any shenanigans real quick oh, another one of these comes out building firm Turn a pit into two clay and one sand. All right. Oh, yeah, so we definitely want to build this. Which costs one brick, one uh, glass, and three wood. So we've got that. We need a brick, right? So we can spend a wood uh, to get two food. We'll go... One, two, all right, slides that up. And now we've got the required resources for building this glassworks, which is gonna give us, theoretically, a good number of points at the end of the game. <clears throat> We're on to, onward to round six. Four cards here. So we wanna build a building again. Um, Two, three. Hmm. Four. Yeah. Hmm. I don't 
Don't know. Well, we definitely want to build one building, right? So we'll get a carpenter out here. Um, actually, so the forester's office lets us um, gets us a point for every big forest tile we've got left. So maybe we leave a couple of those. I mean, three points for a building. Eh, not bad. Um, what else are we trying to build out here? Is the question. Well, yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. So, like, we still want water. I mean, not water, sorry, wood. We still want wood. Wood is... We need a lot of wood. So, like, the woodcutter's definitely in. Um... I guess the question is, do we pull another feudal lord and just hope we draw something good here? I think we're kind of running out of time for that, though. So we'll throw a builder in here. If we get both options on that, the question is, what can we build? Because, like, we can build this glassworks. We definitely want to do that. That uses up all of our wood and our brick and our glass, right? So what does that leave us as far as other options to build and it looks like the answer is it doesn't leave us very much to be honest um, doesn't leave us very much so maybe builder isn't the move because cultivator doesn't cost anything and lets us build one building and we're, we only want to build one anyway so um, we need, we need clay to theoretically try to build this, I think, or like, uh, there was something else that took clay also, so we'll throw him in the mix, and actually, we'll throw, we'll throw pit worker in the mix, he gets us clay without us having to pay for it. Um, and who else? Maybe we'll throw Feudal Lord in there. Just, uh, if nothing else, it gets us some free resources of the resources that we keep running out of. So, shuffle these up. And, see what we get. Action one. Cultivator. All right, so we're going to build the glassworks for sure, which costs us three wood, one glass, and one brick. And that makes the glass we have at the end worth three points instead of one point. Up next, we've got the feudal lord, um, which I think is just going to get us a clay and a wood. And then we get to choose one of these. So we can either get clay or wood and non-trivial amounts of it. I think we're going to get wood. So that gets us four wood. And onward to the final round here. Um, we've definitely accomplished everything we possibly could have wanted to in this game. I don't know what could have possibly gone better. <laughs> Alright, so we get five cards this round. Throw the supplier out there. Um, Alright, so what are we trying to do this round? Um, if we get charcoal, charcoal and clay, basically. So this guy gets us charcoal. This guy gets us clay. 
Now we're going to need water also. Um, I mean, this gets, a, gets us a ton of water. And is worth a point, which seems all right. Uh, so we'll get the supplier out here. And what else? What else? What else? And forest manager. Is there anything else we're going to be able to build? I guess is the question. Because whether we want to get a uh, <clears throat> now, now would be the time to really crunch out the numbers, but we're just gonna keep we're just gonna keep rolling, you know. So before we get into it, let's just do this. Spend that, get two food, spend a food, get two, hold on, two food. This moves here. Spend a food, get two glass, two sand rather. Spend that, get two of these, Spend that, get two of those. Spend this wood, get two food. All right, so. Uh, so maybe clay workers out. Uh, we do need charcoal. What are we trying to build if we do build something? Mm, what's worth points that we even can build, I guess is the question. Point per clay, point per used brick. One, two, three. Hmm. Builder's hut, question mark. Well, I don't know. I'm sure we'll build something. Uh, water carrier, is that, is that correct? I don't know if it's correct, but it is what we have chosen to do. So we're just going to do that and, uh, Hey, sewer dog, how are you doing tonight? Welcome in. You're just here at the end of me uh, doing extremely well at this game, Glass Road. So well. Oh man, it's, this is a, this is one for the ages. <laughs> uh, how you doing tonight? What you up to? All right, so. We've got four actions left. First action, supplier. Um, not the best order for that to have come out in because I don't know that we can actually build any of these buildings right now. Which is entirely unfortunate. But that's what we get for gambling, that he wouldn't come out first, I guess. So we're going to get one of something, I guess. Um, it'll be water. Forest manager comes out, which gets us three wood. Caps out our glass, which is like the one good thing that we did. Water carrier comes out. Spend a food, get... 
two water, and one wood. And then we can either get some charcoal or some clay. I think we're gonna get char charcoal, because <clears throat> that gets us a point for having a brick. And then we can uh, spend a wood to get two food. Uh, spend two food to get four sand, spend a wood to get two food, spend one, two, three sand to get one brick, spend a wood to get two food, spend a food to get two sand, spend three sand to get a brick, spend a food to get two sand, spend a food to get two sand, and spend a food to cap out our sand. And that is officially uh, the end of what we got going on. Um, so we didn't build that much stuff, which is unfortunate, but you know, what are you gonna do? Let's add up our points and see how badly we did. My 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 all-time high score solo in this is a uh, 24 points. So we'll just see what we got this time. Um, so buildings, we've got two, six, seven. Um, we get three points per uh, glass. So we got three glass, that's nine points. We get one point per brick, three points, and we get half a point per sand, uh, so we get three and a half points for sand. And hey, look at that, we got 22 and a half, so not that bad uh, compared to my previous baseline, um, especially, you know, it didn't feel like we were doing that well but then, like, you know, we had our little engine. Like, we built up this engine, which was what we spent the entire game doing. Um, so that we could cap these out. Cap out all the resources that give us points, basically. Um, by fiddling around with this stuff. So. Um, that is the end of Glass Road. And I think... I was thinking of maybe playing two rounds of this, but I think I might set up... Uh, sanctum and play through that instead like I'm, I'm gonna do that either way I just uh, think we're just gonna cut straight to that um, yeah sewer dog this this game is really fun it's a it's um uh, Uwe Rosenberg and it's a uh, it's a really tight um, like resource puzzle like it's super fast especially like once you get into it you know a two player game of this you're looking at 30 45 minutes tops um so the resource wheel um uh so you're basically um producing glass and bricks are the two like resources that you're working towards right and the way that it works is you can either have zero one two or three bricks right to produce a brick these three resources as soon as the zero spot is empty on this wheel then the wheel turns you you use one of each of these resources and produce one of the brick um, does that make sense and the same thing up here as soon as the zero slot is empty that would turn and you would use one of each of these and make a make a glass um, and yeah, the sewer dog, the, the multiplayer game has really neat kind of simultaneous action selection stuff going on. Uh, the solo game, you, you choose the cards that you want based on what round you're in and then, uh, shuffle them up and they come out in a random order. So, um, you got to kind of mitigate, you know, uh, the order that they come out in by hopefully 
being able to do worse versions of actions if stuff comes out before you want it to, et cetera, et cetera. Um, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, um, that's Glass Road. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, I think it's a really fun solo game. Like it, it fits into a nice kind of time slot of a, a really fun, interesting puzzle, but also, you know, like a 45 minute, 30 minute uh, game that you can set up and bang out real quick, you know? Uh, so if y'all give me a couple minutes, I'm going to, um, get this put away and get Sanctum out here. And, uh, Sanctum is a really neat, um, kind of like dice allocation game where it's, it's themed around like a Diablo kind of board game where you're, um, fighting monsters, leveling up, getting gear, uh, getting, getting loot. And then you fight a big boss at the end, uh, but it's all like Euro mechanisms and stuff. Uh, it's really neat. Uh, so I'll, I'll be back in just a minute and we'll get the, we'll get the thing going here.